Welcome to YouTube channel of RV Max US in Greenville, South Carolina. Sun is high. It's not sunny setting. Sun is high right now. What I have behind me is a 2013 Tiffin motorhome. It's a Phaeton 40 QBH. That's queen and a bath and a half. QBH. Beautiful motorhome. Let's get into it. Look at the paint skin. Beautiful. Got nice Toyo tires. No worries about tires. Uh, full paint. Champagne black, burgundy, I don't know what color you call that, a chocolate mocha color. Just a beautiful paint scheme. I love this color. Both awnings are out. Uh, my wife and I picked it up in Tampa, Florida. I drove it up here from individually owned. People have subscribed to our channel. We don't mess with bank repos. I'm going to bring that word back, right, Nicole? I used to say that no bank repos. We don't mess with bank repos. Does that mean these are perfect? No, but they're better than bank repos. Uh, people can't make payment. They can't take care of it. This is individually owned. Really nice mud home. Got a slide out tray here. Check it out. Hey, that chair, don't, don't, don't fall in love with it. It's mine. I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> it is, it is ours. All right. Let's see what's the first compartment there. LPG. That's a lady professional golf. No, that's a liquid propane uh gas. You know, it's a LPG. I was thinking about a liquid lady. Professional golf. That's your HWH leveling jacks, uh, all the gizmo. It's got a motor and a reservoir and all that. Look how clean it is. I mean, got outside TV. It's an insignia TV over here. We got a, a extra ladder to get up on top of the roof. It's got a beautiful hardwood, not hardwood. <laughs> it's got a beautiful fiberglass roof. If you're not having a fun working, man, then don't work, right? Pass through store. Check it out. Check it out, check it out. That should be potable water, so you can also put a water. I like the motorhomes, they have those. A lot of Fleetwoods have them. Tiffin has them. So you could just put hose and fill up gravity fill. Uh, that should be tank behind it. Toyo tires, uh, they codes are like tw uh, 37 or 20 made in Japan. They got in a ship and came to United States, went to a warehouse, and then went to a retail shop, and I'll probably put it in 2022 or 21. So. Um, that's how it is. About less than a year and a half old. Brand new tires. Got a little ding here, I see. Just a little ding. Get it free. No extra charge for that. That's your Carefree of Colorado module for the uh, electric awning. That's your death flute here. Over here, we got some uh, engine relays and stuff. All right. So beside that little ding, this side, I find it very clean. Come around the back. Got slight little scratch. Eh, it may buff out. Beautiful lights. 10,000 pound towing capacity. ISC 380 Cummins in it. Or oh, is it? Fiberglass roof. Hey, I like that sticker Tiffin puts in there. Roughing it smoothly. No tents. This is a nice motorhome. Got maybe, uh, that could probably clean out too. But overall, the rear cap looks great. I love the colors. Aren't they nice colors? Beautiful colors. We've got a endless water heater here. And let me tell you what, it works great. They're better than Aqua Hot. I, look, we have Aqua Hot, Oasis, all that. We mess with them. They require service. <sighs> These are better. You get a hot shower, that's all you need. Now, your heater is not provided by uh, Aqua Hot. It's, it's a... Uh, it's a propane heat. Hey, got an extra filter, a little funnel to put oil. They bought it at Lazy Days in uh, Florida. That's where it came from, Tampa area. So you got your electric switchover, or people call automatic transfer switch, 50 amp power cord. That's your cranking batteries. And we'll come to a uh, coach battery soon. So it's got dual zone heating, one here and one on the other side. Uh, four slide out, by the way. Got a few little curb kisses, if I call that. A little, you know, campground kisses on the... So if you want to buff it out, they take them out. But it's, it's hard to see, okay? Almost impossible to see. Slide out toppers all in great shape. We'll open them up real quick. This is your wet bay. A, a wet bay where you hook up all your hoses and stuff. You got an outside shower, filtration system. Water pump is located right here. It is very easy to change it out if it ever goes bad. I like to add my input. If you're going to be camping, 
some people are probably upgrading to motorhome. They've had a trailer or fifth wheels in the past. You got to be a little bit tinker person. If you are just one of those guys that something goes wrong and you take it to shop, you're not going to enjoy a motorhome. You're going to be just letting it sit in a shop. Extra tiling. Look at that. It's got a tile floor. Four or five, five extra tile. So if you crack one or two or three, up to five, you got a new one. Now that hose is going to go out. We'll give you a starter kit or something. Unless you're trading something up. And that's the backside of an electric refrigerator. If you need to uh, get behind it, it's right there. Yep. I've got a, another window awning here. It's not open. That's the chair I was talking about. I don't need to get it out. If you really, you can talk me into taking it, okay? If you really want it. Buy a motorhome, get a blue chair free. <laughs> Those are your coach batteries. And there are six of them, three in the front and three in the back. All right. So now, back again at the tires, we'll have a money hole right here. We put diesel. It should be on the other side, too. And here's your all the chassis components. I think they just washed the motorhome. That's why there's water in here. They probably had not shut. But anyway, let me go ahead and open the... Pop the uh, generator. Generator is on a slide uh, tray, so you can just... Well, motorhome is sitting high, so I'm not going to pull it out. There's your air horns. It's an RV QD. 8,000 watt generator. What's ours? 1710. 1710. That's no hours. Um, Kubota engine in it. So it'll come out a little more. I just want to get it out. Windshield is free from any major damage. I don't see anything. Uh, maybe there's a little, little, tiny little star crack here. Nothing, nothing. Uh, it, it, it's hard to see. Beautiful one piece panoramic windshield look at that a valve is that a valve yes it is a valve look at that mirror no oxidation let's see on the other side same thing maybe slight oxidation but really good shape all right so we've completed outside walkthrough let's open the slides and show you and then you get on inside come on in this beautiful motorhome it's another beautiful sunny hot day in south Carolina. look at this coming in we're going to change these little rubber mat step here but you know it's a little details but i like to mention details nice tile work inside come on in check it out let's shut that door behind you you show them look at this it is beautiful beautiful coach quad slide you got a two slides in living room and two in the back we'll go over the cockpit area a little bit later, but both of these seats swivel around. They both have power seats. Passenger seat has a recliner. We'll go over the cockpit in a little bit. TV here, TV there. Got nice fireplace. That that fireplace addition makes it cozy. This is a factory. Some people buy older motorhome and add a uh, fireplace. You know what? Not only just uh, for a warmth, you have a heater in the motorhome, but this is really nice to add. Right now, it's only on just a show. You can turn it on the show and not heat. We've got two roof air conditions going. All right. All TVs are smart TVs. Uh, Panasonic. All everywhere. So we have a nice little recliner here. See, it's got a button somewhere. Yes, right here. Sometime, somehow. Just pull it and this thing comes out, I think. Operator air. Oh, somehow. Okay. <laughs> I have two buttons here, but I can't get it seem to get it open. Oh. Now this video is continuing on while I'm trying to figure out this. What do you do? Man, okay. I gotta get off that. It does work. <laughs> Got two chairs, dining table. Dining table extends and should be a couple of extra chairs under the bed. We'll check that while we go progressing our video nice little ledge here or counter space or whatever you call it you can put your breads fruits whatever oh man i remember being in tampa picking this motorhome up i had a big cubano 36 inch three feet long cubano bread was here oh god making me hungry it's just lunch time cubano bread and my wife and i were making 
making nice sandwiches here. That's what you do. Lots of cabinetry, beautiful wood. I don't know what you call honey oak. I'm not good at colors, but it's beautiful yellowish oak. Uh, nice little ornament there. A little here for Tiffin. Even has a small little cubby here. Look at that. How about that? Cup holder here. And uh, on the opposite side, you have a full pull-out air mattress. It's kind of like a full-size or queen-size bed. Oh, we forgot to turn those two lights on back there. Look at that. And we have a nice little slow rise with your hand. I like them. Guess what? They're much better than electric shade because electric shade, believe me, they give you trouble. The motor goes out. A little bitty France motor in them. Maybe that's what's wrong with them. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, so you have a day and night shades. They with this uh, little, uh, what do you call, chain, as you see right here. So I'm going to lift this up. Look at this. So we got a day and night shades. Nice window treatment. It's in really, really good shape. No sign of abuse. LED lights upgrade here. Okay, speaking of paperwork. We have all kinds of books and manual, air pump for the air mattress. Some more paperwork here, goes on in here. Oh, okay, a little step cover goes right here. Oh, by the way, check this out. To Debbie and Dane, or De Dan, Debbie and Dan from Bobby, I mean from uh, Bob Tiffin. Best wishes. Bob Tiffin signed this coach. That's pretty nice. It's it's uh, it's historical. Now they have sold out to Thor, but I think Tiffins are still involved. But Bob Tiffin personally signed it. Nice kitchen area. Speaking of kitchen area, turn this to the left. Boom. Voila. You have a nice little island. I love cooking. Anyone loves cooking. They know the more counter space is better. You have this. Let's see. Three burner gas stove and over here you have a dual leaf for a stainless steel sink so if you're cooking and you need a counter space that's why they have a double leaf so you can leave one open for washing purpose and use this as a counter pretty nice solid surface got little soap pump sprayer uh, some Hey, how about this? Clever trash can under there and nice wooden drawers. Beautiful. And then you still have stores on this long. Oh, there's another Panasonic remote I was looking for earlier. Let's put that back. Get it out of the way. Convection microwave oven here. Lots of cabinet space. Even on top, you have a nice little... I love that fact that you don't have to reach back in the back. Beautiful woodwork, no water leaks. Uh, yep, LED lights upgrade. They've changed the LED lights up here. We got a nice Maytag refrigerator. With French door and a sliding freezer that has two tiers. Auto filtration, water here. Uh, carpet's in pretty good shape. Uh, I mean, it could be, you know, it's a used motorhome, 69,000 miles, but it's in really good shape. No odor of any uh, smoke odor, absolutely none. Um, no pad odors, very clean. So tile seems to have a couple little nicks and neck, but no cracks in the tile. And that Those little nicks and neck could be cleaned out. That's from a uh, slide out roller. That stands on it. So if you're gonna camp and if you're really nitpicker, spray a little Windex or something and clean it up. Okay, uh, I'm being a nitpicker there, but come on in over here. We have a half bath. I like the position of the uh, toilet, so you have lots of room here. Same thing. You got a shade, medicine cabinet up here, down below, up here, everywhere, and the little ma magazine rack. I kind of like this little. Um, I guess I'd call it magazine rack. All right, I'm going to take my shoes off walking back here in the carpeted bedroom. Come on in. Carpet's in pretty decent shape. Now, those 
folks watching our YouTube videos, we do a lot of hardwood floors. If you wanted to do hardwood floors and we can do flush hardwood floors to that tile back in, in the front of the living room, you're probably looking around 1500 bucks to do a really good job. Uh, we could do that. Got a king size bed here. How about that? Or you could also have new carpet for maybe five, six hundred bucks. Okay, a carpet's in decent shape. It's got little wear, consistent with being a, a ten years old motorhome. We have a same slow rise with the chain, dual day and night shades on both sides. I love that box back. There's some of some coaches in the back. They're okay. I like this better because you got nice headboard back there. Keeps my head warm in the winter time. And when you want to wake up in the spring or fall, you can hear birds chirping from here. I mean, it's beautiful. All right. So lots of room here, as you can see. Another LCD, digital, whatever, smart TV. Got a little laundry hamper. Is that what you call them? About four drawers here. Some drawers. I mean, a cabinet space here. You can change it with your family picture if you want. And you got a sliding door, by the way, behind you. And there's one sliding door here. Let me demonstrate that. You unlock this, and boom, right here. So that gives you privacy back in the master bath. And on our way back out, I'll show you the, the other door. Come on in the master bath. Master bath. We have a washer and dryer. Splendid. So you got a stack unit for those long stay in Florida or Arizona or wherever you're going. Got another sink back here and more. Let's see. There you go. I knew there was some light missing here. I have not turned them on. That's my pet peeve. I like light. By the way, little boo boo right here. It was it was fixed by Lazy Day, but we can put a wallpaper. Just want I saw that little thing. I didn't want to hide it. We can put a wallpaper, but there's no water leak. If it had one, it was fixed. Um, look at this coat closet. Really good shape. Man, that AC feels so nice. So these are resettable fuse and your 120 breaker panel is right here. And this kind of stuff you need to know when you're camping. If something goes wrong in the summer, more than likely your circuit breaker has tripped for over amperages or something. A little cabinet here, a little towel rack somebody added. Really nice. All right, in the back here, we got a nice size shower. Really nice. Uh, this frame has a sunlight open. Oh, wow. Right. And close it. The plastic frame has a little crack here, okay? Probably super glue fix it or whatever. Just want to point out small little things, okay? Uh, you can come do it yourself too, but I'm doing for some of those nitpickers like me. All the fantastic fans work. As I say, uh, you know, this coach is in great shape. My wife and I camped in it on the way back from Florida when we picked it up. By the way, it is a his and her sleep number bed. That's a nice, that's a $3,000 mattress. Maybe, and then you got a ceiling fan up on top. I forgot. There we go. So the purpose of video to show you a lot of stuff including i say it all the time good bad and ugly not a lot of ugly stuff in here lots of good stuff but you know maybe a few flaws here and there those are your slide buttons thermostat for the back air conditioning by the way it's got electric heat that means these air conditioners air conditioner on a rooftop are also heat pumps and you still have a gas heat and then you got a furnace i think this would conclude our video on this 2013 tiffin phaeton model 40 q b h what we're going to do, going to go over the cockpit area, test drive it, and hey, come get it. We take trades. We help you get financing. We also offer extended warranty if you like to buy them. But uh, hey, let's go. Hit the road. All right, the cockpit area, pretty simple. You got a navigation here. You have a left, right, um, all the cameras here, backup cameras. Air conditioning, by the way, previous owner spent almost $2,600 on a new air compressor, dryer, expense and valve, all that. AC is ice cold. They could literally throw ices from here. It's very cold. That's a good thing. Uh, your nightshades and all the electric shades are here. Uh, we've got a couple of drawers. Put your junk or whatever. We have 69,752 miles. Uh, typical stuff, your tachometer, speedometer, 
voltage, battery voltage, front and rear air pressure gauge, oil pressure gauge, temperature gauge, and your fuel, including your death. Headlight switches, uh, windshield washer fluid, emergency uh, or oh, engine preheat, I'm sorry, six speed Allison, 3000 Allison transmission, air horn, or electric heated mirrors, exhaust brakes, HWH automatic leveling, and it's ISC 380 Cummins. Let's hit the road. So you got a nice little iPad or computer laptop desk in front of you. And look, she's putting her legs up on an electric recliner. So make yourself comfortable. Also, there's a step cover. We'll show you that. I may have a button here and I can do the step cover. Right here, look at this. Step cover. I think it's kicking the... Uh... All right. All right, they also added this little uh, uh, desk cover. Pretty nice. Um, man, it's so quiet. All I hear is the fan of the air conditioning. Engine is in the back. Folks have a gas mode on and want to upgrade to diesel. Well, you got an older diesel and we're moving up to the higher diesel. Man, Tiffin does a great job. On a Freightliner chassis, it rides it. Man, well, I drove it from uh, Tampa, Florida, across central Florida, and came up on 95. This is a nice motorhome. So this test drive is not going to be very lengthy like mine. <laughs> now, mine gets into it. He just loves test driving. And he, he has a lot of data. He does research. We're very proud of our kids. Nicole's behind the camera there. Her and I have been doing the video since she was 9 or 10 or 11 years old. So, you know, lately we've been getting a lot of folks that have been watching our videos that are coming up to buy a motorhome from us. Well, really, thank you. We're not perfect, but this is what we do. As a matter of fact, tomorrow I'm going to be in Clemson on a lake camping in a motorhome. We camp. Nicole camps. Mine is in Charleston in the motorhome right now. We camp all the time. So we know. And talking about camping, so you think camping is fun all the time? Think again. It's just like anything else. You need to have a toolbox with you, a voltmeter. A little jack, if your jack don't come up, a little bottle jack or a sport jack, you got to be prepared. You know, stuff can go wrong. But mostly if you're, if you're doing a, a, a preventive maintenance and stay on top of your coach, you'll have a lot of fun, okay? So it's not all scary. Okay, I hear a little sound of air because my window wasn't closed. There we go. So I'm doing about ah, 45 miles an hour. Let's check the cruise out. My cruise engage, cruise... Cruise control works. That's very important to have a cruise work. Uh, while I'm driving down the road. Yep, my mirror works. And my right mirror works. So power mirror works. Again, the purpose of video to show you what works, what not, what's good and what's not. And uh, and uh, that doesn't mean it's a perfect motorhome. It's a 10 years old, a good solid motorhome. You don't want something old with a very low mile. This diesel motorhome, they want to be driven. They need to be on the road. All right, with saying all this, I think we'll conclude this video on this 2013 Tiffin Phaeton Model 40 QBH. My name is Sachin Shah again. We prefer text communication. Here are the numbers. It'll be on the screen also, 864-404-0054. That's my number. Mine is 864 376 5600. All these numbers are there. Text us. We like text because we're on the phone all the time or doing the videos and stuff. And if you don't know how to leave a, do text, leave us a voicemail. We'll call you back. Talk your ears off. That's what I do. We just answer questions. We love motorhomes. It's funny the way I say motorhomes. Sometimes Siri thinks I'm saying motorhome. Motorhome. All right. So. We do help you get financing done. We do sell extended warranty. We do take trades and all sorts of stuff. Uh, you could ask for 
third party inspection if you like to, but we'll, before you come up here to buy it, we'll have everything working and you can take off from our lot and go camp, have fun. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day and thanks for subscribing to our channel. If you haven't yet, please subscribe it. Have a great day.